so we've actually got some sad news so in the previous video well this could be the previous video for you guys but I actually recorded a video and we customized this truck with a new Scania this is a Scania 370S um, and we customized it it was all good we did a delivery we had, we went from we went from Bergen uh, to Christian Sand and when I was editing the video I realized that all of the footage wasn't wasn't the same as the audio so I'm sorry about that you guys it's just how things go sometimes so hopefully I can make up for that by doing another video um, I've been busy over the last few weeks so yeah it's actually my birthday today I wasn't planning on recording a video today but I thought you know what we might as well do it so let's check to see what we have on the freight marker. I don't want to do too long of a delivery. Go to the UK because I know that I know that Calais has a has been redone. So we go to uh, Newcastle and then go all the way to Calais and then head down there for the France D DLC. Oh, sorry, the Spain DLC. Okay, let's go with that. First off, do we need to sleep? Okay, yes, we do need to sleep. So that should be our main priority is getting the food. We really should turn our lights on. So we are in version 1.39 now. Version has officially been released, um, which is really good. Oh, why do I indicate? But the but and the snow mod still works, which is great. I, I was worried that it wasn't going to work, <sighs> but thankfully it does. So where's the nearest uh, rest stop? Okay, so let's go down to the garage and then we'll head from that way. So if we make a left here. Um, in the video that I actually recorded, the video that of course you guys didn't see, I actually drove up this, uh, I think I was carrying a double trailer, um, but it was whatever trailer that you saw at the beginning, um, but uh, yeah, I don't like driving up here normally with a, tra uh, with a long trailer, but even in the snow, I don't like doing it, it's much worse in the snow and ice. Okay, so I think we're turning right here. Yeah, we're turning right here. Oh, I think we should run the way. Oh no, oh, we're fine. Hopefully. So uh, I did recently upload a video about a uh, man and I took down the video because I found that he got caught so that's good. I told you guys that I would update you guys once um, and yeah so I decided to uh, delete the video. Oh no, wrong, wrong place. Start the snow. Okay, let's not sleep for long because we can sleep. To be fair, we should have slept on the ferry, but I think we'll be fine.
I think they must have uh, updated the uh, Scania noise because the uh, I can actually hear the uh, whistle of the uh, truck a lot more than what I ever really used to. I don't know if that's just me being able to hear it a lot better. Um, So I don't know if this will be uploaded uh, on the same day, I'm not too sure because like I said it's my birthday um, and next week I've got uh, college. Um, it should be hopefully be up, up tomorrow which is the 9th of November. So yeah I'm, I'm hopeful for that. I will, um, my, my videos uh, from uh, Christmas onwards um, will, will then be uh, 1440p, uh, 2560 by 1440, um, and 144Hz, which will make it smoother. Um, I can run this game at uh, 1440p, 100, uh, uh, like like over 60fps, so it's all fine. Um, I was a bit worried about that because um, my PC is powerful, but it's it's not. It's, it's not like it's not like a really powerful computer in the way that I can't run like 4K. Okay. Things look so different in the snow. They really do. I see. This is why I was talking about one of the uh, the. Uh, oh my god. One of the uh, graphical glitches. To be fair, I think that's the only graphical glitch that I've seen so far. I don't even know what that is. I should bring it into my cargo first, though. Okay. It's not down there. It's not like the trailer isn't we can't take that anymore even though it said it had 15 hours left I swear it said that but oh well we'll drive to Bremen hmm. did they have the chrome one I don't think so let's take a red one Sorry about that, you guys, my phone was literally blowing up. With notifications. That seems to be always the way. Uh, your phone always goes off when you're trying to record a video. Okay, so let's hook it up. I don't think I have advanced coupling on. I'm not too sure though. Oh dear. How far have we actually got? 778 kilometers. I don't know if I can do this in uh, a full video. This might be split up into two parts.
I did turn the uh, physics on, uh, the realistic physics uh, off camera. Um, I thought I actually had it uh, turned on, but it turns out I don't. Um, and I think there seemed to be some type of glitch. I don't know if I've already said this, but um, I need to go and check out that again and see how it is. Actually, go straight on. Are we, are we allowed to go? No. I don't know if there's actually something supposed to be there. Um, I think there might be, um, but I wish that whatever's supposed to be there would actually. I think it might be like a radio or something like that. But to be fair, most people are just gonna pick the, the most expensive one, the, the sat nav, if they can afford it and if they're the high enough level. I actually saw the new Iveco. I think it is uh, the one that looks like a uh, uh, the the truck. A uh, there's an ongoing joke that Scania that Scania had a uh, lemon, and then that's what it turned into. Um, because it looks very similar to a Scania, uh, just like with the uh, grill just looking a bit more. Um, it's hard to explain, but it does definitely look like a Scania ate a lemon. I think they definitely did take inspiration off of uh, Scania's truck, which is not, it's not a bad thing because Scania uh, make amazing trucks. Uh, when I first saw it I thought that's just a copy of it, but um, how I think about it, it just, it does seem like a pretty cool truck and I wouldn't mind if it was in ETS2. I know they are actually bringing out a new truck in ETS2, but uh, I'm not sure which one. So let me know in the comments what truck you guys want in the new update. I think it might be one point up, update one point four season that they might bring out a new truck. They always seem to bring out a truck um, something around Christmas time. Herschel's we're going to. Okay, so we are in Denmark. That was a very short ferry journey. So we've got 612 kilometers to go. Turn our lights on. So like I said, this might be a two-part video um, because I'm not too sure if
figure out making a uh, channel trailer, uh, but I would need to work on a few, I would need to create a few videos, a um, few separate videos to uh, create one, so let me know if you guys want me to create a uh, channel trailer. Of the, uh, I know I haven't been uploading as much as I said I would and as much as I hope that I would, um, but I've got college and homework and stuff like that, and, uh, so yeah, it's, Ill. it's not very good for my uh, schedule of uploading videos, so I apologise for that and I hope that you guys can understand that and still stick around uh, to watch my videos for that. I was thinking of, uh, because you can now get a mod which gives you ownable trailers, um, as, I mean ownable, like, massive trailers, um, so I was thinking of, uh, sort of that, but let me know if you guys want that to be our first trailer to buy. I was thinking of getting 
getting a older style Scania, like maybe the one full free app, if that mod actually worked, because I know that uh, it's having some issues with the audio. Uh, I don't think it works at the moment, but I think we're getting something like that with the uh, previous one. This uh, no one's snoring. It's uh, just really cold out, so I thought, yeah, let's get something comfortable. I don't want it to break down at the time. So I think this would do the job. It's a very nice cabin, even for a um, just a standard trim level. This is actually the light trim level. Uh, the previous one was the dark trim level. Which I prefer the light one. Because I feel that the dark one just makes the cabin interior a bit too dark. 